G'day guys, uh, here's just going to be a quick video to give you a bit of a comparison between P5 RGB LED panels and the P10 RGB LED panels, uh, commonly referred to as P5 and P10 panels, which uh, we're utilising nowadays in our Christmas lights displays. A lot of people are using uh, the panels together for tune two signs or putting uh, several of the panels together to make some rather large matrices to run lots of cool effects and stuff like that on it. Um, reason for this video, I had a couple of the, the panels sitting on the bench uh, for another little project I'm working on. So I thought, oh, well, I'll give some people a bit of a comparison. Um, so a bit of an understanding of the difference between a P5 panel and a P10 panel, as they commonly referred to. Now, just for a bit of a uh, heads up, I'm not going to go into much technical detail in this video about um, the software behind driving it. It's pretty basic. It's uh, Falcon Pi Player or FPP running on a couple of different devices. I am going to give some information, however, about some of the hats which I've connected to those devices. One uh, being a hat on a Raspberry Pi and the other one's a hat on, an Octa, on a BeagleBone. Uh, or an octo scroll on a beagle bone uh, which I've purchased from Alan Hansen Electronics to give you some information and also probably give you some basic specs on the panels themselves what you expect when you purchase them and some other bits and pieces you might want to consider uh, when you're looking at buying some of these panels so it's hopefully rather obvious the top panel is our P5 panel and our bottom panel is our P10 panel um, these are referred to um, as P5s and P10s because of the pixel density. So on the P5 there's one every 5 millimeters, and for our P10s there's a pixel which is you know, consists of our red, green and blue LEDs every 10 millimeters. Now these are both indoor panels. Um, they're not designed to be used outdoors. We seem to be using them a lot outdoors with some other enclosures and waterproofing. Um, you can get outdoor type panels, but they sort of also need waterproofing. Um, now these panels, the, basically the size of them are approximately 320 mils by 160. Uh, the P5 panels uh basically uh, 64 pixels across via 32 pixels down uh, the p10 panels are 32 panels across uh, by 16 uh, pixels down so in a nutshell our P5 panels have got twice, twice the density, so to speak, uh, compared to our P10s. Now, regarding pixel densities and is, should I use a P5 panel or should I use a P10 panel, it really comes up to each of your own. I think, I think a lot of it comes down to the viewing distance of people viewing your displays and stuff like that. Lots of people have been using P10s for quite a long period of time. Uh, they seem to be quite successful. I used um, eight P10 panels for my Tune 2 sign this year and that was quite acceptable. Uh, the, main, the main reason I was using it was just for my Tune 2 information. Um, but as I said, I had a couple of these panels on for another project so I thought, hey, I'll give you a bit of a look at it. Um, just so you can have a bit of a, more of a sort of a look about you know the difference in the difference between the um, the displays. I've just done some really quick basic sequences um, in X lights, um, just so I can give you an idea. Uh, these are identical sequences, pretty well for each sort of panel, so you can get a bit of a, a quick comparison about um, how they look. Now the refresh rate's not showing up too well on the poor old camera here, but it doesn't appear to be glitching or anything like that. You can see when that stars and that were being displayed, they seem to be a lot crisper on the P5 panel. And there's a bit of a flame effect and you can obviously see with the increased density of those pixels, it comes out a lot, a lot cleaner. And just for another little comparison now, this is just one panel 
a lot of which we use, lots of uh, several of these panels together. Um, it's essentially the same information, but obviously with more pixels, we can show a lot more uh, information on, on our panels. So what I'm going to do is basically give you a bit of a quick rundown uh, what you expect when you purchase them. Like I said, how I'm driving these panels. I'm not going to go into how I've set up all the all software. There's lots of information out there regarding how to install Falcon, Pipe, Falcon Play or FPP on your devices. I'll put some links uh, in the video below. So just uh, one of the questions that does pop up, um, I notice is how many panels can I drive off the power supply or how many power supplies are required. Um, so one thing I just want to have a look for myself was actually the current draw, uh, how many amps these um, panels um, require from your power supply. Now I've got these set at 100% brightness um, in the Falcon player for these. Um, so just going to run a red um, light and see what sort of current draw we get on our P5 panel to start off with. So we've got our, our full red and it's what 2.38 amps on our fl fluke meter. Um, so if I was going to run full white which would be no sort of extreme really for one of these panels um, it's 4.73 amps, so that's on our um, P5 panel. Um, again, if it's just full red or full, it would be the same for full green, same for full blue. It would be considerably less than the full white. So we've got our green there, so it's not showing up very well on the camera. 2.6, 2 no, 2 2.7 amps. Again. Uh, for 100% brightness, we're looking at you know 4.7 amps on the P5 panels. I'll hook a P10 up to give you a look at the current draw for that one. So just for a current draw test, here we have our P10 panel. Um, again, same test as the other one. It's going to be 100% brightness. I've got our fluke meter hooked up. Um, that's on like a full red. Quite considerably less current draw on that one. It's 0.68 amps. So that's less than one amp. Uh, if we go to our full white, uh, we're just below two amps. So 1.9 odd amps. So let's just give you a comparison. As you know, probably one of the payoffs, obviously, with the P5 panels, is running more pixels is going to require more current so it's something you have to consider when it feels going to make like a large matrix out of them um, what sort of power supply you would require um, now I'm not an expert in these matters this is just some observations and tests with my meters and stuff like that just to give you some information if you want to know all the real technical details um, your best bet is to you know have a look at the websites where you purchase this stuff so this is just to give you some background information okay So just following on guys, uh, just a couple of things which I've noticed uh, when I've been purchasing either the P5 or the P10 panels, like I mentioned earlier, these things are sold as indoor panels. They are not really meant to be used for outdoors, but hey, we use them outdoors if we put them in an enclosure. Uh, obviously, the backs of them aren't waterproof. You can get some outdoor panels, but I've had no experience with them. Uh, also, I've um, heard reports, especially in the Australian sort of hot weather, these panels warping and you know, the pixel LEDs failing and pushing out and stuff like that. So just be aware of that as well. So what do you actually get when you buy these things? Well, um, pretty much the same either you buy the P5s or the P10s. What you receive if you buy a bun panel is you receive a power cord. A power cord now with the ends to connect the power into our panel by the little four pin connector at the back. And you'll receive, if I buy one panel, one ribbon cable uh, with the predetermined ends on it, which goes into our input. 
and that goes into your other end of your device how you're driving these panels now if you order two panels you get a couple of these ribbon cables so you can daisy chain them up so to speak from that port these are the same type of panels um, from one to the other so but however if you're starting to build a, a larger type matrix with you know, lots of these panels sometimes you might have to have a connection from a panel number four over there back down across and these ribbon cables you'll find are long enough so just keep it, keep that in mind you can buy these from some of the people that sell um, some of the electronics to drive these panels I purchased some of my cable when I was getting um, some bits and pieces from Hanson Electronics and you can buy these little link connectors and they're quite easily to crimp on uh, just regarding some of the hardware in respect to what you need to mount these uh, panels up um, one thing I did find is the P5 panels come with M3 screw holes around the P10 panel comes with M4 screws. And one thing you'll also notice is the mounting positions for those screw holes are different between the P10 panel and the P5 panel. Um, so there's lots, of, there's a few people out there selling brackets, like Oscoyo um, are currently selling some brackets, and I think they're also going to be available through the Australian distributor soon um, some people also print some brackets to hold them uh, just be aware there's some difference between the P5 and the P10 mounting holes so if you're going to mount some of these panels together um, you need a way to secure them another way that people have used is use some aluminium strip um, I've found I've done another video on the Bosco strips and I think they'd be really good so in a nutshell, that's just some of the information which I've found out about regarding purchasing the panels. Um, another thing also to be aware of when you're buying these things is that they come in different scan rates. Now I'm not going to go into any great technical details about the, what's available in the scan rates and stuff like that. Um, there's some good comparison charts on um, Oz Christmas Lighting in their Wikipedia, Wiki page, sorry, and there's some um, comparison information on the Falcon Christmas websites uh, regarding the Falcon Pie player, Falcon Pie. Um, all I know is this is the P5 that I purchased um, was a, just want to double check on this, was a 1 16th scan and this P10 was a 1 8th scan. Now they've updated some of the software which drives this sort of stuff through the Falcon player so just um, check the information out just be really aware there is some different scan rates when you're looking for these panels. Um, so um, that's about it guys if you've got any thoughts, feedbacks, comments put them in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, I might do a bit of a follow up video soon regarding um, the different methods which I've been using to drive these panels. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Bye.